I'm Annetta Lucero and welcome to the NMF video series. Today I will show you how to do correct neck traps. So grab a baton and let's get started. Today we're learning basic neck traps on the back of the neck. It's very important that you learn this with the right movement going in the right direction at the right time. If you don't, your neck traps will end up looking really hideous and not being correct and it will stop you from learning other roles that connect to neck traps. So what I see often that is incorrect are people putting their neck traps on simply by sticking it in their neck and also turning in the wrong directions with their trap so it doesn't look like anything. This is not correct. Those are not neck traps. Those are go to the chiropractor next week traps. So let me show you how to do these pretty, correct, and let you be on your way to learning more rolls. I'm going to begin with the motorcycle matched hands, like I'm riding a motorcycle, and I'm doing the twisty that we learned in the previous video. The twisty is that the end sticking out to my left goes under my arms, under my right armpit, and comes up. Now for this twisty, I'm going to use it as a roll entrance. So I'm going to twist, put it behind my head, and then place the baton on my right neck groove inside my shoulder and my chin. Now I am not pinching the baton with the side of my face. I see that going on a lot and that's not going to help you in the future. Make sure that the baton is in the neck groove so that it can be fluidly kind of moved around but you still have control of it. See how I'm not pinching it with the side of my face? Not only is that really ugly but it places your baton in an odd spot to be able to go on with neck rolls in the future. So I'm going to do my twisty as I turn, put the baton behind my head, place it in my neck groove, stepping out with my left foot grounded on the pavement and my right foot is pointed. My right arm is to the audience and judge. My right shoulder is to the audience and judge. My baton is on the right side. This is a great way to remember which way you should be facing. If your right arm is pointing at the judge, the baton should be on the right side. Then I'm going to get control of, just push it around a bit and see that you can wiggle the baton, but you can still keep it in your groove. When you have control, you're going to push it gently gently but also with enough power that it goes across i'm pushing and i'm thinking about the back end i want that back end to draw a very mild rainbow so i don't want it to cut straight across the back end is going to slightly draw a rainbow in the back and then i come into my left side now my left arm is to the judge, the baton is on the left shoulder, and I'm standing with my left leg pointed back. I'm going to make sure I have control. I'm going to draw a slight rainbow, pushing, pushing the front end down a bit so that the back end goes up and draws a rainbow on the wall in the back. Pushing, and now right arm, right shoulder, baton on the right side, right leg pointing, push and left side, push and right side, push and push. And this is what it looks like to the back. Twisty behind the head, place and push, 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 push. Please make sure when you practice this, you are having the baton in the front. See how I allow the baton to be 
a cross on pattern on my toaster line. Every time I get it in, I twist just a bit so that my baton stays on pattern on the line below. And I am not turning into the baton. This is wrong. Stop doing that. <laughs> I really hope this video helps you, that the explanations are clear, and that you will be doing wonderful, beautiful neck traps in no time. I'll see you in the next video.